What do you think, gentlemen? Are there any Western institutions left that the woke mind virus hasn't taken over yet? Let's start with you, Guillermo. So, thank you. Thank you, Peter. Well, it's, uh, it's a hard question to answer. I would say that uh, in the last 30, 40 years, uh, the globalist left have taken almost any institution around the world. So we are trailing, we, are, we, are, we need to recover the lost position. It's going to be a very, very long process. I'm glad to be here at the CPAC and to see so many friends and uh, so that we can start to catch up. Uh, we failed and still are failing to uh, put our people in all the multilateral organization uh, to push our agenda. So there is a lots of work to, to be done, but I'm optimist. I mean, uh, together uh, we have clear ideas, we have clear friends, allies, uh, it's not just Europe, it's transatlantic, it's down in South Africa, our friends in Australia. So there is hope and I think we can recover all the lost position. It's going to be a long process, but we're going to make it. Yes. What do you think in this framework of our institutions, are we able to tackle international evokism and radical left? Should we build new institutions and destroy the old ones? Well. Events like this one are perfect uh, to strengthen our cooperation, our bond, to exchange uh, best practices, to, to exchange the reality, the difficulties that each of us is living in his own country. And uh, by forging these bonds, uh, I mean, uh, creating alliances, we can fight back the agenda, the wokeist agenda, in a much better way. If I only recall three years ago when we started here at CPAC, I mean, we were fewer, we didn't know each other well. Uh, after three years, I mean, we are now not just allies, we are friends, and we have, you know, given each country sovereign and different, we have a common agenda that is for, you know, 80, 90 percent is basically the same. We are fighting for defending our values, our, you know, real institutions, uh, you know, family, God and the homeland. I mean, that's uh, the three key words that, that we are, uh, we have the duty to defend. So, continuing and fostering these alliances, we can strike back the wokeist left. And uh, of course, as said, we need to, as here in Hungary, you know, get to government. And once we are in government, not to fail. So often, you know, conservatives are in power, but they fail to implement their agenda. That's a mistake that we should learn uh, from our friends here in Hungary, that they did well, and we should do well as well in our own countries. It's interesting what you were talking about, because yesterday we had a short discussion at the reception, and you said, looking around, that, again, the usual suspects. And it's a sign for me that this cooperation is working. It could be organized wherever in the world, in Washington, in Rome, or in Budapest. The cooperation of conservative forces is already working because we see any, every time the usual suspects. The last question, Guillermo, goes to you. So there is hope in Europe because since 2022, you also have a conservative government. What uh, were the conservative government of Italy able to tackle wokeism and radical left with policies and, uh, and from a cultural perspective in Italy in the past two years? Well, I, unfortunately, it's just 18 months uh, that, that we are in power. It's, it's good to have a conservative government, finally. Uh, as I mentioned before, to reverse uh, you know, years and years of woke institution throughout the country makes for the a conservative government really difficult to, to rule. Uh, it's almost impossible when you have the academia, diplomats, the entire you know, sectors of the society, uh, judges. Uh, I always recall that uh, you know, Matteo Salvini uh, is still under trial for trying to stop illegal migration to our country. So we are slowly trying to, to put in place uh, policies and legislation in order to stop migration, in order to, to, to favor uh, free trade, 
to favor um, the family as an institution. So we are trying to, to regain some ground. It's going to be, we need at least you know, 10 years of conservative governments in order to push our agenda, and we might not have enough in 10 years. So we, we need a long prospect, but we have good friends, as you said, the usual suspects. So, I mean, we'll, we're tough, we'll fight for a walk free world, not just Europe. And uh, the European election might be, at least for us who are in the EU, a good uh, opportunity to show that we are the majority in this continent to fight back the woke agenda. Thank you.